in front of me are fragments from the Hindenburg disaster in 1937. Originally, the Hindenburg was a Zeppelin, a dirigible. It is an airship with steel rings and then fabric on the outside. On the inside, there are 16 gas cells of hydrogen. A long story short, in May 1937, the Hindenburg left Germany. It crossed the Atlantic Ocean. Soon, it arrived to the United States. It was due to land in Lakehurst, New Jersey. Although, there were thunderstorms that day, which further delayed landing. As the Hindenburg came in, the pilots were afraid of change in weather pattern. Crew members dropped landing lines. Four minutes later, the tail of the Hindenburg caught fire. Then, in less than a minute, the entire ship was gone. There was more than 90 people on board, 67 survived. Now, what happened? There are two main theories I'm going to talk about one. This is the electrostatic discharge theory. Remember those landing lines? They were dropped. The ship had a positive charge, and when the landing lines dropped, they introduced a negative charge to the Hindenburg. Now, it did take four minutes for the tail to catch fire. This may be due to the trip electric effect. What happens is, a material becomes electrically charged when it comes in contact with another material and then separates. The second theory is St. Elmo's fire. This is possibly a spark that occurred in the air due to the electricity from the storm. It is a lesson about hydrogen, but it's also the first largest technological disaster caught on film.